Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Noodles Reptiles. Welcome back to Noodles Reptiles. And in today's video, I will be telling you how to tame an alligator lizard. For this demonstration, I will be using Noodle. She is already tamed, but I'm just going to show you the steps and tips on how to make your alligator you make your alligator lizard not act like an alligator. First off, we're going to do a little update. So a few days ago, my African red sided passed away. I only had him for four weeks and I, I don't know what happened. He had the right, the right tongue size, a light, and we, we really don't know what happened, but he was 10 bucks and barely had any toes at the back. Um, I hate you underground reptiles. Just, I'm just gonna state that, okay. And the turtle, we're gonna move the turtle to that, uh, to my red side tank very soon, but only when we get to San Diego. Cause I am moving and my mom said that it's just gonna be too much work and by the time we do it, he, we're probably already gonna be moving. And I just watch him and all of that. Here is my pet jumping spider. She is doing phenomenal. Uh, she built a very thick web. Um, as you can see, very beautiful jumping spider. I believe she is a bold jumping spider. That I like that's the species, but I don't know her scientific name. Down to my alligator lizard. Um, she has been eating. I've been working on that, but she is still looking very chubby and all that. She has been drinking water, so that's how I know she's hydrating. And yeah, she has a life plan here. I took out this because um, it was giving the um, it was giving the crickets too many places to hide, and it looks like the crickets I dropped in here are no longer here. So I think she might have eaten. Pretty cool. Yeah, but here she is. She's in her favorite hide right now. So let's get into the video. Sorry, that angle is absolutely garbage. But as you can see, my alligator lizard noodle has already been tamed. And look, there's a one cricket survivor. But um, as you can see, my alligator lizard has already been tamed. But when you first get them, they're all hissy and trying to bite you. Let me move a dirty um, thing, uh, water dish. So what you want to do first off is for a day or two, leave them alone. But then when you, um, when you finally feel comfortable, try to handle them. If they just skid away, as you can see, she's, she's kind of agitated right now. She's kind of puffing up. Don't worry. I've barely, I've only been bit once and then other times I've just been nipped. The reason I've been nipped is because of me, like, force feeding her and she just dragged her mouth to the side and closed it. These guys have a very strong bite force, so be aware of that. I I would wear gloves when you're um, trying to handle a newly caught alligator lizard because you can not buy them at all. They're all, um, they're all, um, what's it called? Oh, they're illegal to sell. Um, I know Westside Reptiles has some um, captive bred alligator lizards, but he doesn't like ship them. You would have to like live near him to get them. So yeah, it's pretty sad that these guys can't be sold. So I have removed her water dish from the enclosure. It's still um, to the side though. These alligator lizards, um, they're very territorial, so you don't want to put your hand in like this for the first time, because they're going to think your hand is a, is a predator or a, um, as a, uh, a challenger for their territory, which is now this, your tank, or whatever you put them in. Don't put them in anything smaller than, like, a five gallon. That's just disgusting if you do that. She is, um, she isn't very, she isn't a very active animal. She usually likes to hide, which is with most alligator lizards. They like, they like to be, um, not known. They don't like to be noticed because, like, their main predator, as you can see, she, they go behind things or under things because their main predator is a bird. Um, that's with most lizards, 
but these lizards are fairly slow. They can be fast when they want to be fast. So when you first get them, don't put them out of their tank. They're, they can be fast and especially they jump out of your hands and that can definitely hurt them. And don't, when they do, uh, try to just grab them from this part of their body because um, they're known for dropping their tail. They're known for dropping their tail and that's just a beautiful tail gone. Um, the, these tails, um, they, they can control them unlike any other. They can control them like a possum. I forgot the word of um, the, like how they control them. But um, once, they, once they drop that tail, I believe they just lose that control. And I mean, like, look how long their original tail is. As you can see, she has never dropped her tail at all. Uh, the pattern is the same. That's how you know they never dropped their tail. Also, when um, when they hiss or try to bite you, don't don't leave them. Well, you can leave them alone because they're probably stressed out. But don't like get away from the cage because they're because when they when you do that hold up when you do that um they realize oh wait this when i do that they back off so i'm just gonna keep on doing that so they'll just keep on biting you and biting you and biting you for uh just to get away from you and don't worry they won't get too stressed out they know that they're a dominant predator they know that they can easily um throw you off so they won't be afraid of your hands or your tongs whatever you feed them with but i'd rather feed them with tongs um um they if they have like a too small of a item to eat they they'll they may bite your hand now with this you like when you finally hold them you must um, do it with gloves because these are very bitey animals. Um, that's why they're called the alligator lizard, especially with their scales, and they're known for their death roll. Yes, these guys do death roll. You can search it up online here on YouTube. But um, um, so like, it's like most kids have alligator lizards. It's usually their um, usually their new pet. Um, so your hands are most likely small and most likely look like a pinky mice. And these guys overpower anything. Anything that, that's the size of their head, they'll take down. Like, a um, she's taken down a grasshopper before. Um, she's taken down a lot of big things. The, like, even the size, like, past her face. So, yeah, wear gloves while you're handling them for the first time. And they do jump, so get ready to try to um, be the best catch in the world because these guys jump and they could hurt themselves. And while you're taming them, have a hide in there, like like this. Have, have a hide in there so they at least feel a little bit safe when, when you're trying to handle them. Like, imagine you're uh, a little human being um, being held by this giant. So just put a hide in there. Um, and when they hide, just leave them alone. Um, that's, that's where you, where they draw the line. Um, for sessions of doing this, it would be 15 minutes. You can do how long as you want. But 15, 20 minutes is good if you have a very tight schedule. Um, uh, most people say they need a big enclosure. She never, um, really liked big enclosures when I put put her in a big enclosure she just got a little freaked out um alligator lizards like to be hidden now back to the hide sub uh subject you want to put a bunch of oh, want to put a bunch of tight hides that they can just squeeze into and squeeze out of not too tight like these like these wooden pieces that i just got out of oh my goodness it fell over you okay girl Okay, as you can see, she's curling up like that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, that means she's about to strike or just a bit angry. 
that's how she was when I accidentally dropped a wooden piece on her, which is this piece, I believe. And, um, and, uh, she bit me. So, yeah, I have a scar now because of that. Oh, my goodness. That almost fell on you. The same cork piece. Or the same wooden piece. See, again, I got these from my backyard. Not Obviously not this alligator skull. This was from my old bearded dragon's cage, which sadly passed away a few, few years ago. And, yeah, this, this is basically the tank. Um, these guys are semi-arboreal, so you want to put something like that. A very tall piece. And look at that. See? Tight corners. They love to squeeze into. These guys are very intelligent animals, so you want to give them some fun. So, to work their brain. And so it doesn't just, like, um, because, like, that's a waste of her knowledge. Because these guys are so intelligent for being one of, like, the smaller animals. I, what I've seen is that smaller animals more intelligent they've evolved more because they they have more threats than others except for bahamut and all you guys are stupid if you guys know what i'm talking about then leave a like um space so they um so they can just get some exercise and all of that and like you can just drop a cricket in there and they'll they'll be like um they can chase after it yeah guys um that is um, how you tame and the tank set up for an alligator lizard. Yeah. There's Noodle. Alright guys, I hope you liked today's video. Um, it's sad um, that we lost uh, my red-sided skink. We didn't lose him, he just passed away. Um, uh, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and that's really it. That's all the social medias I have. I have a private Snapchat, but that's only for, to talk to me and my friends that, like, don't have, like, phone numbers yet or something. But yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to do a video on my dog soon. So, um, stay tuned for that. And, uh, thank you for $55 on TikTok. And, yeah. Bye.